A lot to talk about in weather. Hi, I'm meteorologist Dave Humvee. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine. It is a bit windy out there. This is Port San Luis today and the winds help kind of clean out the skies. We saw a few areas where low clouds were an issue last night, but not very many. Here's a look at the advisories in place, kind of related to wind here from the Central Coast. 8 to 12 footers, this advisory going into place at 3 a.m. Saturday to 3 p.m. on Sunday. All that wind energy gets into the water and creates the waves, but there's a bit of a lag as it does so, so that's why the advisory goes into place overnight. And that's not the only advisory. We have this wind advisory until 8 o'clock tonight from the Central Coast. 20 to 30 mile per hour winds gusting up to 40. And in the mountains of Santa Barbara County, this advisory through 6 a.m. on Sunday, 20 to 35 gusting to 55. But they're northerly winds. It's one of the reasons the South Coast is warmer than the Central Coast. Northerly winds for the Central Coast, kind of a cooling wind for the South Coast. It's technically kind of an offshore just because of the way the land sits. You can see more cold air kind of rushing into the West. This is one of the reasons temperatures just don't move very much at all. Take a look at the extended forecast here at the bottom of your screen Tuesday and Wednesday. Some of the daytime highs may struggle to get to 50 on Tuesday. So this storm system coming in, it's another cold one. You can see a few showers in Northern California and parts of the Sierra, but we're quiet here on the Central Coast. And again, you can see that flow pattern out of the Northwest. We're watching the development up here. This area of low pressure that comes out of the Gulf of Alaska clearly can tap into a lot of cold air and it's going to bring it down with it because the jet stream has this huge trough with it as it moves this storm system into the region for Tuesday into Wednesday next week. Here's a look at our extended model. You can see that system sweeping in on Tuesday into Wednesday. I think it's going to give us anywhere between a half an inch to maybe an inch and a half, two inches of rain. This is sort of new information here. We'll have to see what happens around the 5th and 6th. This is also a fairly big system here. You can see this big, long fetch of moisture. This particular model wipes it all out, has it falling apart around the 6th to the 7th, maybe a little bit of light rain locally. But that does look to be a fairly significant system to watch. So we can see at least two more here in the forecast. For Saturday, daytime highs right around 60 degrees for the Central Coast, mid 60s for the South Coast. The interior valleys right around the mid 50s to about 60 degrees. The five cities close to 60. And again, breezy onshore winds in the afternoon out of the Northwest. Cuyama might not make 50 on Saturday. Here's the extended forecast again Tuesday and Wednesday. The rain returns, the wind returns, and low level snows. I already have some information about that all posted on my social media. And Richard is back right after this.